Finally, Governor Alex Oti abolishes state of origin dichotomy in Abia State. Hmm. So, <laughs> this one here removes state of origin dichotomy. We need to understand though, so that the Fulanese will not come and claim uh, they are from Abia State. Or, uh, or the people from Akwa Ibom and some other states coming to claim Abia State. You need to, should, I know that Nigerians and Nigerians and should be free to enter everywhere. But you have to have a way of ensuring that there's no criminal activities in the state. That is it. We are not encouraging state of origin dichotomy, but abolishing it, uh, you also need to know the people that are coming into the state to commit crime so you can catch them. And also know the people that are in your state that are also criminals so you can catch them. So just, just in case, okay? Governor Alex Oti of Abia State has assured that under his administration, there will be no division between indigenous and non-indigenous residing in the state. That is correct. Very good one. This is exactly what we need in Lagos. And by that claiming Lagos, if you are not from Lagos State, this is this thing now is to prove to people in Lagos that look, what you are doing is illegal. Nigeria is Nigeria. That is it. And people are free to live anywhere they have to live. He emphasized that all residents will be treated equally with a focus on their competence and contributions to the state. I love that. Speaking at the International Conference Center in Omaha on Sunday during a Thanksgiving service marking his first one year in office, OT stated this administration does not discriminate. So we are not concerned about which part of Abia or even Igbo land you come from. If you reside here, you are part of us. Highlighting this commitment, Governor Oti noted for the first time we have a permanent secretary who does not come from Abia State or any state in the southeast but from Edo State. Hmm. Now, during the event, Oti also announced the launch of a significant infrastructure project, a multi billion naira terminal project that will consolidate all mother parks and a railway station in one location we will flag will be flagged off you know my here on tuesday he said oh boy so he promised a complete infrastructural transformation of Omaha, here which he previously described as a glorified village within the next year including a railway line from Aba. oh boy so governor oti concluded by calling for continued prayers and support from Abia citizens affirming his administration's commitment to doing the right thing despite opposition criticism. So in his sermon, Reverend Omar Ongunta of the Presbyterian Church emphasized the importance of thanksgiving to God from his uh, people. Wow. So what... Uh, what uh, Oti is trying to do was what has been happening in Lagos. Though Lagos was by default because Lagos was the seat of federal government. And so almost everybody trooped in there. Just like people are trooping into Abuja now. And so at the point, people from other states were holding some political offices, some political positions in Lagos State. And that is how Lagos got built up fully to today. So almost every state and every tribe in Nigeria has developed Lagos, has put something in Lagos, has invested in Lagos. And now, in Tudubu's government, as a whole government, they are now knowing that if you don't speak Yoruba, you are an Igbo, and you must leave. Your land must be collected, your business must be destroyed, just like landmark uh, resort has been destroyed now. Okay, and now people are saying, don't invest in Lagos anymore. Lagos is an enemy of Indi of uh, foreigners or people who 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 are non Yorubas. Okay, and why that is happening in Lagos? Alasoti has borrowed that sense and they uh, use um, he borrowed what happened in Lagos to now develop uh, Abia by way of making sure that well, no matter where you come from in Nigeria, you are a Nigerian and you are free to live freely in Abia State. I didn't even know that his permanent secretary is from Edo State, not even from uh, uh, Abia State or any state in the Southeast. You see, all he is looking for is people that have potential, people with good competen competencies that will put their hands together to develop Abia State. And that is the only way it can develop. And that is what is happening in US, UK, and Canada. They will employ you, they will, call, they will, they will give you a visa to come and do startup. Okay, it is still their land, 
but you come in, you get citizenship by your investment, and the place keep developing, and you will be mandated to employ people, citizens, in your business. Okay, that is what is developing. The only way a place can develop is when you bring in the best hands to um, to run the place for you. That is it. So based on what Alex Oti has done now, there are a few comments here. Somebody saying this is what you get when you elect a visionary leader as a governor. May God continue to be with Alex Oti. That is the only way development can be guaranteed in the eastern region. Allow non igbos to own properties in your state. Make uh, okay, make your lands affordable and available for non indigenous and non igbos You are God sent governor to save Abia State from misgovernance. Exactly. The not that cannot do it. How is their life, Abi? <laughs> Uh, the not that cannot do it. Yes, not, not grill. Please leave the not out of it. You Igbos should practice it in your region. You are not wanted anywhere anymore in other regions. Can you imagine? That is what that one is saying. Someone say, God bless Alex Oti. And that is good. This is what you get when choice of people are well respected in election. Not I neck choosing one to the people or uh, or Supreme Court choosing one to the people. Okay, we are suffering in Nigeria today because of the people I next choose to govern in Nigeria. So if he likes, let him stop state of origin. No right thinking Nigerian will leave their region and go to the east. The people are naturally wicked people. Can you imagine? This one is still writing here. That is your own. Someone said this is the problem in Lagos, exactly. Okay, we don't need Igbos in Lagos no more. The Yorubas have endured you people and gave you an enabling environment uh, to succeed. Okay, you ended up fighting them and want to take uh, uh, want to take their state from them. Please stay in your east. Nobody from other region will not be scared to live among you Igbos. You people have natural hatred for others until you change your ways. This guy is still coming here to come and insult people here. When you see good governance, you appreciate it. But some people have blocked their head against other people. But it's okay. Everybody has his own opinion. God bless Governor Oti. Many blessings to you, Mr. Governor. A man with a difference. He has to be careful. This is what not cannot do exactly you have to be careful someone else can introduce it so let someone else introduce it in the north but it's not about the north the full are such people that if you give them one hand they will take over the whole place for you hmm. so what is happening here is that alex oti is trying to make life bearable for everybody but i just hope it will not be misconstrued for something else Okay, so thank you for listening and uh, let's have your comment. This is what is coming from Alex Oti and how people are reacting to it in Ambia State.